Hi. Hello. Welcome to the worst camera quality you've ever seen in your life. I promise the video is not going to be this entire camera angle. Uh, I just want to do a quick intro. Um, welcome to Zebra Force. Uh, I've been doing a monthly EP project for the last three months. It is January 26th right now. I just uploaded my January EP. I started in November. I did four songs in November, four songs in December, and two for January. I did two because um, just doing a lot of uh, changing over of my setup, and I just didn't have a lot of time to work on stuff. But I'm shooting for four songs a month. And um, because of this consistency that I'm working on, I decided why not start recording the process. Um, I originally started doing this monthly project because I had a lot of backlog of, of projects to work through and I just wasn't completing any of them. And I decided, uh, you know, why not? Let's just, let's just commit to completing all of them. But you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to start a new one because that's what I do, right? Um, that's just how I feel. That's what I feel like doing today. But, uh, the ultimate goal of this um, is to a be consistent with releasing new material on streaming services and all that b be consistent uh in general and making music every day and uh c be consistent with making youtube videos because this is something that i've been wanting to do for a long time and uh, i've got the setup for it now so let's get into it let's make some music okay here we are a blank canvas Ableton Live and a blank canvas, my two favorite things. Um, I think, me thinks, I think me thinks, I'm gonna go for a little drums, a little addictive drums. I'm gonna find something that I like, eh? I'm just kinda looking for something that inspires me. I'm just waiting for something to jump out at me. Oh, I like that. I like the groove, but maybe not the kit. Yeah, all right, I like that. Let's turn the tempo down. It's a little slow, let's try 106. I like that a lot. I gotta turn my master down or else things are gonna go wild on the recording. I'm gonna I'm gonna start there and, and and try and find something, maybe uh maybe a little guitar. How about that? Eh? A little gitter, a little gitter to start the day. I'm gonna use uh, the Slate amp plugin here because it's my favorite and I use it all the time and it's amazing. It's also one of <laughs> two amp modelers that I have, so I I don't have many options here. Okay, there's some ideas there. I'm gonna put the guitar down um, and and work with this. See see what we got. Um, not not too sure. Just kind of throwing some ideas out and seeing where it takes me. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this this half and uh, and shift it over here. Those were just that was just me free balling it. But I I want to focus on this little riff we got here. You know what? I'm I'm gonna. I'm gonna duplicate this. Um, oh, excuse me. I'm gonna double track this. I like this a lot. I need a liquid break. Mm. Yeah, let's do some bass here. It's a good loop. Good, good loop. Love me some good loops. Bass. What do I want to use for bass? You know, I'm always using this Anna two because I love it and it works beautifully. There's so many good sounds on here. Don't like it. <laughs> I kind of like that. OK, 
okay, there's something there, but I don't like the sound. So absolutely not what I want. I kind of like that little small guy. This is terrible. I hate it. It's this is giving me like toy vibes. Yeah, okay, I like this. Uh, but this is already getting annoying. This is going to have to be like an intro section for sure. I like that it's kind of got its own sidechain thing going on. This kind of sounds like a more of a melody thing, so I'm, I'm going to rename this, and that's not going to be the bass sound. What does this sound like raised up an octave? It's so cute. That could be uh, it could be just something. There's something there. I I don't like it, but there's something there. Here's here's what I want to do. Here I'm gonna do some some more electronic sounding drums here. Yeah, like a nice fat one. I, I kind of want to try a couple different kicks though. It definitely matches better. But I, I, it's not quite what I want. I'm, I'm going to commit to this, this 90s kick. Then I'm going to find a clap. 909 clap, maybe? got a little bit more ass to it. I like that. I'm thinking maybe a bit bigger of a clap though. More of like a a group clap. Yeah, more like that. I'd record it in myself than just do a million clap samples, but let's be honest, I'm a lazy bastard. Yeah. I like that, um, but I'm going to double it with something Let's try that one. It's not it's not what I want. I think I think I could just make it out of this. If I just um open up the rack here. This guy right here. Turn down the volume a little bit. Um let's add an EQ. I want to take the high end down just a little bit. Yeah, I just want to take a little bit off the top and Add a reverb. Just using stock plugins for this. I don't need anything special. Beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. But uh, I don't want it every time. Let's try this. Add a little bit of variation there. I like that. But needs to be a little bit bigger. I I'm going to try something here, though. Instead of getting rid of it, I'm going to automate the, the reverb so that it just turns on on that one. I just want to see what this sounds like. Yeah. I don't mind it. I want these ghost notes to be a little bit more prominent on the snare. See if I can just turn up the snare a little bit. All right, I gotta move on. I'm getting sucked into a rabbit hole there with the with the groove. What 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 were we doing over here? What was this? It's so cute. It's it's too cute to get rid of. I I gotta be honest. Okay. All right. All right. All right. There. Yeah, <laughs> that might work less as an intro and more as a like a little bridge. I, I I don't know. I like it as an intro. It just needs more. I I like this cute little synth thing, 
as um like an introduction to to a chorus melody i think this would work really well if it was sung if there were lyrics to that rhythm i don't know what the lyrics are going to be but it's cute it's fun it's kind of kind of gets stuck in my head a little bit it's easy to follow i think there should be lyrics to that but um this cannot carry through the whole song it's just not gonna work so what i'm going to do is turn it into a little bit of an intro i'm just gonna do a little bit of a panning thing maybe bring it in from the left do a little bit of automation changing on the width so it's just like a nice tight thing over to the left you're like oh what's this this little guy off to the left and then it comes in yeah nice and full there that's still that's not enough to to carry this intro but it is something right uh definitely need a a crash here for sure yeah carry some some vibes through the beat here maybe a little bell i like this we're kind of going into an, a, a little bit of a newer section um i might use this as like a chorus clip simple downbeats on the hat i like that a lot that's nice and fat i don't know if, how it compares to the, this one if it's if it's better worse or whatever and then we got yeah it leaves some room for like something like a shaker or something you know what? i'm i could just record this in i got i got a maraca and i got two little egg shakers i don't know what fits best though I like this one. I like the maraca. Uh, I got this in Mexico from a kid off the street. Shout out to that little kid making me instruments. Definitely not perfect, but that's kind of cool. I might move everything over a tiny bit. That's better. Okay, so so I'm I'm thinking this this section here. This is going to be more of like a chorus where this melody is duplicated across a lot of things. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. I kind of want to just sing that. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Hmm. Maybe I should come up with some lyrics for that chorus because that might influence the way I go about the rest of the song. But I'm just. I'm a little lost on what it should be. Let me pull up my lyric sheet. I might have something just sitting. Okay, so I've got something here. Um, several years ago, I'd been tasked with uh, a seemingly impossible task to make a song based off of the lyric, thought you might like some juice. My wonderful mother walked in with a glass of juice and was like, thought you might like some juice. Ba -ba -da -ba. And um, we, it's something we always sing. And uh, I just never got around to it. I, I actually tried several times, but nothing actually came of it. But um, coincidentally, thought you might like some juice. Those six syllables um, perfectly match this rhythm. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling fun today. I'm feeling like a goofy one. So that's what I'm going to go for. A nice little goofy, fun, dancey vibe. And I think that fits the lyrics. Juice being like a metaphor for ass, for shaking your booty, that sort of thing. Let's continue. All right. <clears throat> so here's what I got. I like it. Um, I it it needs work, but I love it. Ba, 
to my life like some juice. So let's get up and let's get loose. I think I like it without it. Um, I am going to try um, pitching this down, though. I was trying to perform it low, but my voice just can't go that low. Let's try that. I like it, but it's got to be buried a little bit. Let's get loose now. Do like a little vocal uh, dub thingy. I do want to do that, but it'll it's it's probably gonna come in later, like after I introduce everything. But I'm gonna record it now so that I don't forget the idea. It's gotta be you and I. I said. You and I, so let's get high. You can't spell universe without you and I, so let's get high. I said. Perfect. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that into um like probably a transition into a second verse or something like that. I'll come back and clean up all these vocal chops later. I think I feel like there needs to be some verb on here, but not like just, like, just enough to give it a little bit of a presence. Maybe I'll do it in here. Do a vox verb one. I like using verb suite on my returns. It's a very nice verb. I enjoy it a lot. Let's see what this clear room sounds like. Whoa, okay. A little much there. Let's calm down. It's a little it's a little bit much. Turn up the highs and, and mids there. I don't really want much low end in here. Okay, cool. The, the guitar part needs to be built out. Like there needs to be more um layered on top of it, especially with these bump bump like bump bump. I feel like there needs to be like a horn stab or something there, like something to really accentuate that. Um, maybe something I could do in the drums as well. We'll see. Hmm, what's going on here? Let's just try. Uh, let's try throwing in some trumpets or something. Some some uh, brass. These sound honestly quite terrible on their own but they might just work because they're they're really just going to be stabs and kind of in the background and once i add like saturation to them and stuff uh, it it might actually work uh, i'm gonna do my favorite trick in the whole wide world my favorite, favorite thing of all time. Delay with no feedback, no filter, 100% wet, and uh, do a little bit of spatial action here. It's, it's cool, but it's, it's, <laughs> there's something about it that's... I don't like. Let's get high, I said. Okay, I really like this as an idea. Maybe we could do that as a more of a breakdown section at some point. Um, but currently, I don't need it. Uh, I just wanted to see what it would sound like. Sounds really cool. I like the way that they play off of each other. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to hang this up for the day. It's uh, starting to get annoying, and I honestly I don't know where I want to take it. It's it's two fucking chords, and it doesn't move. And um, it's annoying if you listen to this loop 
uh, that many fucking times. So um, I think that's gonna that's gonna end this session for me.